Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa ammu adhin radiyallahu anhu Anna rasulullah Sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Akhada biyatihi wa qal Ya Mu'ad Wallahi inni la uhibbuk Thumma usika ya Mu'ad La tada'an Fi duburi kulli salatin taqul La tada'anna fi duburi kulli salatin taqul Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika Wa shukurika Wa husni ibadatika Rawahu Abu Dawud wa Nasa'iyu bi isnatin sahih Sayyidina Mu'adh bin Jabal May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala be pleased with him reported The Holy Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Held my hand and said O Mu'adh by Allah I love you And advise you not to miss supplicating after every salab saying Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukurika wa husni ibadatika Oh Allah, help me remember you expressing gratitude to you and worship you in the best manner This hadith is in both Abu Dawood and An Nasa'i, and it is an authentic hadith. And you see, it's actually in other books of of hadith, in different um, ways of narrations. One of the benefits of this hadith is that when a person, when you love a person, let them know you do love them. As the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam said to Mu'adh And there is no one more blessed than Mu'adh When the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam holds your hand and shows you how much he loves you He didn't just say I love you, he said by Allah, wallahi And he called him by his name and he held his hand And one of the benefits of this hadith is that when you love someone not only you show and tell them, but you do that which confirms your love. One of the signs of love is sincere advice. The Holy Prophet says in the hadith, Adin al Nasiha. Deen is Ad Nasiha. Kulna liman ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For whom, O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Lillah, wali kitabihi, wali rasulihi, wali a'immati al muslimina. And nasiha for Allah, to be sincere with Allah, is to worship Him and worship Him alone. And to be sincere with the book of Allah is to read it, to recite it, to make, you know, to do your best to understand it and work according or, you know, uh, act according the teachings of the book. And nasiha for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to obey him, to follow him. One of the signs of love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to love, to, is to obey him. Allah says, قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّنَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ He says, if you truly love Allah, obey me. يُحْبِبْكُمُ Allah. So Allah Ta'ala will, will love you. And nasiha for the A'immatul Muslimin is to make sure you respect them and you follow their teachings as long as their teachings confirm the anyway. teachings of Allah and Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and nasiha for the Ammatul Muslimin is to give them sincere advice as the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gives an advice to Sayyidina Mu'adh and one of the best advice is to tell them, to show them, to help them get closer to Allah and one of the best means of closing to Allah Ta'ala is dua and the best place and the best time to make dua is right after an act of worship and the best of all acts of worships after shahada and la ilaha illallah is what salah and the prophet sallallahu said bunya al-islam ala khams shahadati an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa iqami salah 
Salah, Jesus, Sila, that which connects one to Allah. When you are connected, then make dua. And when you make dua, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave him, not, he didn't tell him just make dua, but he told him what to ask. Ask Allah wa ta'ala to support you, to help you. A'inni ala dhikrik. You know, to remember him. Because if Allah doesn't help us, we can spend the entirety of the day watching news. You know, discussing things that are non, have, have no benefit. A'inni ala dhikrik. Wa shukrik. And to show gratitude. Because many other times we, we complain. We don't see how healthy, how blessed we are for having health, how blessed we have for being able to move, to talk, to do this and that. Now, health is one of the blessings we do not appreciate as long as we have them, as long as we have them. When we, once we, we, we lose it, you know, then we appreciate the health. And when you worship Allah, you want to apply excellence. Uh, and he makes dua that Allah Ta'ala gives us ihsan in ibadah. You know, Allah Ta'ala make it easy for all of us. Hazal sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala alayhi wa sallam.